Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Jalal Ahmad, and in this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to insert data. And in other words, we will be uh, starting from here the CRUD operations and learning the Java. Uh, um, and while learning this tutorial of Java series, so uh, let me tell you that I have taken a, a, a new project that is uh, tutorials and. I take I took this project la in our last uh, tutorials in, of this series so this is the connection class and this is the whole class and inside it I have taken a new vari variable and this is the method in which we are connecting to our database so we are connecting now this file in which our database is saved so after here right after these words you have to mention uh, the path of your uh, database so the here is only uh, the database file name and this means and no path is mentioned here so this means that this file is kept right in our source directory of this project so let me show you that this is our source directory and here you can see NetBeans projects and tutorials is the name of our project and here is the source directory so this is the database file in which our database is saved okay now let me show you uh, this database so this is the SQLite server and I have taken a new database that is with the name of uh, users.sqlite and inside uh, inside this I have taken a table that is users and inside users I have taken six variables that is six fields uh, six columns that is uh, ID first name last name father city and country name so there is no record right now and we will be inserting uh, some values some uh, rows in this uh, while going ahead in this tutorial okay now this is our connection uh, code since we have learned it uh, learned this uh, code earlier in this uh, series so i have taken this as uh, already and now let me take now let me take here uh, jfram so sam is the name and finish this is our new JFrame and right here remove these lines okay I just copied and pasted this uh, these three variables and imported these three classes at the same time as well so these are the imports of these classes so set these uh, three variables to null and we will be using here con equal to just right here in the constructor of this frame after this line right here con is equal to write the name of this class that is db connection copy it and paste it here and inside this copy this method and a dot and you can see that so we are calling this method and if try uh, end successfully so our connection will be met uh, will be established successfully and we will be shown this line so it will say us connected so we will come to know that our connection has been established successfully and if there is any error uh, so it will throw an exception and we will be uh, uh, we will be uh, see we will be watching a message dialog which will show us that that related error uh, error sorry so let me run this file and press shift f6 okay java dot lang class not found exception of that okay so there is some error in our connection class so let me check 
okay so we have not added uh, the library uh, the required library click cancel and properties add jar file okay so let me go to our project i have this jar file in our source directory click ok and we have added it in here so now let me run this file click uh, press shift f6 and you can see it is connected now successfully now we are ready to go and insert our data in the file okay let me increase the size come to palette and j label sorry and take a text text field where is the text field so it will become uh, first was let me check it first was that is the first name last name father city and country first name first name and then take another text field then take another text field first name last name now write the name of father now the city name and after here we will write country name okay sorry 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 click all these come to properties and uh, what we are going to do okay let me do it as one by one remove okay so here the first name copy and paste and write here make it as the last name okay guys and take another label and write here as father take another variable and write here Okay, the city and take another variable and write here country and just take a button for adding all these so insert okay guys so this is our form and we will be filling it uh, uh, in a little while so let me make sorry let me name it as text as f name or you can simply name it as f name also this one is l name and this one is father this city and this one is the country name and double click this button and come here we will be inserting now our record our um, these five, five uh, values in our database so for that purpose we will take uh, a 
string value a string variable and sql and we'll write our sql query so write insert insert into the table name that is users so now write the column names that is f name then l name and then father and then city and at last we will put our country name okay now write values so since these are five uh, uh, columns so we will write here five values one two three four five okay now take a try catch block and write here the pst equal to con dot prepare statement so put sql variable in here and write here pst dot set string and write here one so one is the first one is the f name and the name of our text field for f name is f name okay cancel come to source code and write here f name dot get text okay so these are file variables file columns so we will be writing file columns file lines here for file columns two three four five so the second one is f name and the second one is the name of that text field is l name and here is the father and here is the city and this one is the country so these are the column names and these are the text field names which we just created here okay now write here pst dot execute sorry pst dot execute and also write here j option pen dot show message dialog to null and write here e so if there is any error we will be uh, show the prompt box we will be showing the prompt box and we'll show the related here error and if it is inserted successfully just write j option pen dot show message dialog null and tell me that inserted successfully okay guys let me run this file and uh, shift f6 will run will execute this file and it is connected and just write my name is first name is jalal and ahmad and it is Ehsanullah and city is Charsadda and I am from beautiful Pakistan so click insert and we can see it is inserted successfully okay now come to our file so you can see we have inserted our data successfully and in the same way you can insert more and more records so let me insert a new record shift f6 will run the file and abc abc that is xyz okay and city is x okay and let me put again the pakistan click insert so it is inserted successfully let me show you database so you can see second record has been success successfully inserted 
so this was about this tutorial and we will be uh, uh, learning about the remaining CRUD operations and the remaining tutorials of CRUD uh, for Java using NetBeans IDE uh, in the next tutorials so please stay tuned and stay connected thanks guys thank you for now